Sorry for the 30 minute wait sir, here's your large fry. Man this is ridiculous, next time I'm going to Burger King. Hi, welcome to McDonald's, how can I help you? Hi, yes, can I get the Big Mac Beyblade? The what? The Big Mac Beyblade. Sorry, say that again. Big Mac Beyblade. You want a Big Mac Beyblade? You heard me. So you want a burger? Big Mac. Big Mac, but a... Beyblade. Sir, um, could you wait a moment? I'm gonna call my manager about this. Hello, this is Ronald McDonald. He knows. I'll be right there. My manager is on his way. Do you think you could wait? Um, maybe like... 9 minutes and 51 seconds? Sure, I'll just talk about Beyblade in the meantime. Yeah, you do that. Beyblade is a long-running series that has toys, multiple TV shows, and even games. With all these different forms of media, there is no end to the amount of facts that spawn from them. So in today's video, we are going to look at 15 useless but interesting Beyblade packs. These facts won't help you win any Beyblade battle or provide you with deep enlightenment, but they will entertain and maybe become useful when you want to flex your Beyblade knowledge to your friends. Let's get started. Fact number one. Did you know that there is actually an official Metal Fight McDonald's Beyblade? <laughs> sounds so stupid. Anyway, the energy ring's name is Big, the fusion wheel's name is Mac, the spin track is 320, and the performance tip is called Yen. So as a whole, the Beyblade is named Big Mac 320 Yen, referring to the popular McDonald's cheeseburger and its price in Japan. <laughs> It was released in the Metal Masters DS game and can actually be used against other Beyblades. It was distributed exclusively at Japanese McDonald's locations from August 21st, 2010 to September 9th, 2010. It was basically like a giant advertisement. This thing looks so cursed. Imagine showing up to like a Beyblade tournament with a Big Mac Beyblade. Like, well, what is your opponent gonna do? It's like a win-win situation. If you lose a battle, you just eat the Beyblade and you have a good day. Anyway, this Beyblade is also the heaviest Beyblade in the game, weighing at a whopping 240 grams. This thing just smashes all the other Beyblades. Fact number two. The main character of the first two seasons of Beyblade, Vault, is canonically only 130 centimeters tall, which for all you Americans means he's only 4 foot 3. He's short, and if you're taller than Vault, then you're obligated to like and subscribe this video. Thank you guys. Fact number 3. Hasbro made an evolution to the iconic rare Beyblade Baldor called Gilded Baldoros, which I'm sure many of you are aware of, but did you know that they actually made their own Hasbro exclusive disc to come with this Beyblade called Diagron Q, which is the weirdest name I've ever heard. First off, what is a Diagron? It's like a random name that they thought sounded cool. I don't even know if it's a real word. It sounds like a Pokemon. And then at the end, they decided to add Q because I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess they thought adding an extra letter would make it sound cooler, which it does. Diagram Q, that's freaking sick. It's the dumbest name I've ever heard, but it is also the coolest name I've ever heard for a Beyblade part. Left first approved. Fact number four. Random Booster Volume 7 contains the Beyblade Christ Satan Yell Spiral. That's the whole fact. I told you these facts were going to be useless. All right, let's move on to the next one. Fact number five. The Beyblade Hello Kitty is canonically its own Beyblade and not just a Hello Kitty themed recolor. While Takeratomi made many crossover Beyblades in the past, like the one with the YouTuber Hajime or the Japanese giant baseball team, their Beyblades were just recolors. The Hello Kitty Beyblade is the first crossover Beyblade to have its own original chip, making it the real deal. I love it. Also, bonus fact, Hello Kitty Beyblade is the only dual spin stamina Beyblade in all of Burst and Metal Fight. Fact number 6. The owner of Heaven Pegasus Pot Hope's birthday is on July 6th. While most Beyblade characters get birthdays that are on special holidays that reflect the Beyblade's characters, such as Louis Shirasaki, who has a birthday on Christmas showing his relationship to Ice, Pop Hope just gets some really generic date, which, go figure, he's like a really generic character that nobody really cares about. Fact number seven. 
Speaking of birthdays, did you know that Vault from the Beyblade Burst series and Tyson, the main character of the original Beyblade Plastic series, shared the same birthday? They were both born on March 21st, which can be written as 3 slash 2 1, referring to how you count down from 3 when you launch a Beyblade. Sadly, Jenga from the Metal Saga does not share the same birthday, but was instead born on June 12th. Fact number 8. Shu Kurenai is the only character in all of Chozi to not use a level chip on his Beyblade. Yep, for some reason he just didn't put a level chip on Chozi Spriggan, and everyone knows by like the Turbo series he was definitely an established blader and could have easily obtained one, so I have no idea why he didn't. Maybe if he had one he would have defeated Fi, who knows. Fact number 9. Every important main Beyblade release is given a product code. B01 is the original single layer Valkyrie, B35 is Storm Spriggan, and the last Beyblade product to release is B206 Barricade Lucifer. Now with all these important releases, mixed in there is B52, which is a flippin' bracelet maker. They thought it was a good idea to make a mainline Beyblade bracelet maker, which <laughs> it's kind of cool to look at. I mean, it's a cool box, but why would anyone buy this? Fact number 10. Volt's Beyblade drivers alternate between plastic and rubber throughout his Beyblade Valkyrie's evolutions. The original Valkyrie came with Excel, which was a plastic driver. Then its evolution Victory Valkyrie came with Variable, which was made of rubber. Next was God Valkyrie with Reboot, then Strike God Valkyrie with the Rubber Ultimate Reboot. After we had Winning Valkyrie with the Free Spinning Plastic Volcanic Driver, then the Rubber Evolution Driver on Chozi Valkyrie. Afterwards, we got the Power Driver on Slash Valkyrie, which was plastic. Then we got the Evolution Dash Driver on Brave Valkyrie, which was rubber. And then we got the shot driver on Savior. Oh my god, there are so many Valkyries. What the frick? Anyway, then we got the shot driver on Savior Valkyrie. Then the variable dash driver on Ultimate Valkyrie. And finally, the Excel dash driver on the renovated Ultimate Valkyrie. Oh my goodness. Yeah, as you can tell, the, the drivers went from rubber to plastic throughout all those evolutions, which is absolutely bonkers. I guess Vault just can't make up his mind. Fact number 11. Guy and Guy's special move is Swing Counter that can take the momentum from the opponent's Beyblade and use it to ride the stadium ridge and launch at the opponent with a massive amount of force due to the unbalanced nature of Gigant Gaia. Honestly, I really like Guy and Gabe. They were pretty cool. I, I wish they would come back in the newer series. I imagine a newer, like a Dynamite Gaia. That would be awesome. But before that, they need to make Dynamite Zeus because where has Zeus been? I I'm rambling. Let's move on to the next fact. Fact number 12. Lane Valhalla is the first character in all of Beyblade to destroy two Beyblades in a single battle. In a battle against Hikaru and Hyuga, not only did he break both King Helios and Hyperion, he broke them both in a single strike, leading Hikaru and Hyuga to make upgrade versions of their Beyblade. Also, here is a bonus fact. In the manga, Super Hyperion never breaks. In their battle against Lane, Lucifer targets the weaker opponent Hyperion, but in the last moment, Hikaru commands Helios to block the attack, saving his brother's Beyblade. But in the end, Lucifer destroys Helios and traumatizes Hikaru, which makes Hikaru quit Beyblading, leaving Hyuga alone and making him the main Beyblade protagonist of the Sparking series. The manga is just so much better than the anime, the characters actually have development. I really wish the Sparking anime went that route, but at least we have the manga which is pretty good. Fact number 13. According to the Metal Fight anime, Moses parted the Red Sea with a flipping Beyblade. It was revealed by Doji, the owner of Dark Wolf, that in the Beyblade world, Beyblades helped create the biggest empires, armies, and natural disasters in history. Which is kind of funny to think about, since they're literally just metal spinning tops. Like, the Metal Fight anime never really made any sense. Fact number 14. There has never been a Beyblade antagonist that uses a stamina Beyblade. Louis from Season 1 uses Lost Longness, which is an attack type. Shu from the Evolution series uses Spriggan Requiem, which is a balance type. Fi uses the defense type Revive Phoenix, and you would think because every antagonist up until this point has used a different type of Beyblade, that the main antagonist of GT would use the last type Stamina, 
But no, Gwyn uses Regalia Genesis, which is another defense type Beyblade. And then we get Lane with another defense type Beyblade, Lucifer. And then finally, we ended off with Rashad having the balanced Beyblade Greatest Raphael. I guess stamina Beyblades are just too boring and weak for main antagonists. And finally, we are on to our last useless fact. Fact number 15. The yellow things and Voltaire is a headband. Mind blowing. All right.